Hey friends, a little Tuesday pick me up. If you go to your discoveries page of your Fetch Rewards app, it is the bottom left hand side. Press that. If you might have this freebie uh, with the Fetch Rewards app, it is one of these uh, Klondike bar, the Reese's flavored. It's completely free. You go to the grocery store, buy it between the 19th and the 22nd. It's one per account and you get this guy completely for free. So this is a delicious little Tuesday freebie. Um, if you just need a little pick me up, I mean, who doesn't like a little bit of ice cream on a Tuesday? I looked it up on the Meyer app and here it is. Um, I didn't get one myself cause I'm really trying hard with that keto diet and as is Mr. Kimono. So more at the store for you guys, but yeah, um, I would get this one if you have it in your discoveries page. So if you've kind of been on the fence about this app and you're like, I just don't want something more for my phone, this is a really great app that, you know, they have little freebies and for a lot of their stuff in their catalog, you get extra points for it too. And these points amount towards gift cards. If you're new to this, use my link in the notes and you'll get an extra $2 when you submit your first receipt. And it can be on anything, Taco Bell from last week or a pack of gum you bought this morning. Okay, switching lanes. If you missed it, I made a video yesterday, just a really quick one on the Black Friday ad at Walmart. Um, you know, if you are in a position that everybody's in where, you know, the toy shortage, this shortage, that short ad has a lot of really great Black Friday prices and it is going to be over three weeks. So it's going to be three different events. Just a lot of stuff to give you an idea. I have a friend that's like not wanting to buy a Blackstone and after seeing this, she's like, I think my husband's getting a Blackstone for Christmas. So I will link this video at the very end if you wish to watch it. Just a lot of good ideas. And I know a lot of us are getting in the Christmas spirit of we want to do all of our shopping now. <laughs> so check it out. Really cool video. Hey friends, running kimono. So these are all pennies from the Dollar General. I went penny crazy today and there was some holiday or like summer food that was on clearance so I couldn't help myself but I got all these items believe it or not and they were a penny each I did pretty good this is from a remodel store so most of you won't be able to get this stuff um but I was able to find a couple more pennies and I'll, I'll talk about this very briefly over here we have a little bit of Walgreens action I went and did a couple other little deals um nothing too crazy but using register rewards and points to make something happen Hey, and then um, I did cash out both of my store cards. I had a little bit of bonus cash left over. I find that the deals are somewhat erratic. One week it's great, the next week it's not so great. And then I forget about my bonus cash to possibly lose it because it expires after 30 days, which really sucks. So what I did guys was I just did two quick deals for some toilet paper and I will not be shopping there until uh, Black Friday. Usually they have a killer Black Friday ad, fingers and toes crossed, it's similar this year. But um, I just got some cheap toilet paper with bonus cash and a digital coupon and I'll talk about that. And I'm not sure if a lot of you were feeling the same way about Rite Aid, but I just, I just cannot. I'd rather be at the Dollar General, it's a lot more fun. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of the summer foods um, hit a penny this morning, well, which is Tuesday the 19th. And if you go to the store earlier, or if your store is like out in the country and nobody shops there, the opportunity for you to find this stuff is probably a lot greater than if it's in a really busy town, maybe everything's gone. And this is what I found today. Um, I found these uh, little hot sauces. And you know how they have, they have that wire rack at the front of the store? That's exactly where they were at two different stores. And I got seven altogether. They have a very quick expiry date of March, but I thought, you know, this would make a really cool little stocking stuffer. My father-in-law really loves this hot sauce too. I'm sure it's good probably six months past the Best Buy date, but you never want to mess with that. But I got seven altogether. Now I'm going to let you guys know that over on TikTok, um, a couple of you were telling me that you would go to the store, scan the item, and it would say a penny, but when you went to the cash register, it was full price. Now I'm not sure if it's like only NCI stores, which are the home stores that this penny list is for or what the heck is going on but one store I shopped at was in was a home NCI store and the other one was a regular Dollar General store so I don't know what's going on but some people were of course complaining and saying it wasn't working so I don't know just be mindful of that if it starts ringing up for full price for you at the cash register just say I don't want it and you can always void your transactions over there so I will show you the UPC for this. Okay, so now we have this ragu. It is very sizable. This one is, what, two pounds of pasta sauce. That is a lot compared to the little one pound of pasta sauce. So this is like the big daddy. Um, it was on an end cap and there was five of them there. Um, and 
somebody that's where they put them and uh, yeah so I found five of them they were a penny each they got a pretty quick expiry date of January but I will definitely find a home for them um, and, and then this guy um, definitely I'll, I'll use this even for one of my chilies and this is a super chunky mushroom um, and this was a penny as well and I'll show you guys both the UPCs for both of these And there was a lot more to the penny list uh, than what I just showed you. Super simple saver over on Instagram made this beautiful list. So if you want to type in this information into your app, you might be able to get an idea of like, where's all this stuff? La 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 la. Does my store have any? Um, one thing I did notice that sometimes the store will say they have 20 in stock, but is it 20 in a package like in the back room or is it 20 on the floor? I think 20 is a lot of this stuff, how they package it. So it might not be on the shelf. You have to find this stuff on the shelf to get it for a penny. And I did notice that myself that a lot of the stores were, you'd scan something and it would say 20 and then you would go there and like look like five different ways walk around the store and you couldn't find anything so just to note that as well if you guys missed the video yesterday i made a video about uh the remodel that i went to on sunday morning and it was quite the rush a lot of adrenaline and really fun shopping i found at the exact same store i drove an hour to it because i wanted to see the aftermath and the store was really cleared However, I did find a couple um, word search, puzzle books, that sort of thing. There is a senior's home closer to my home, and I think I will drop off all 15 that I found today. I think that's a smart and the right thing to do. I also found two of these little crafting pins, um, and I will be keeping these. Um, I'm afraid that maybe arts and craft time will get extended by two hours if I donate these. In the comments, let me know if you know what movie that's from. <laughs> but anyhow, I think these will be well received, and um, yeah, you know, it's like little puzzles and, and word searches and stuff, and I have like 15 of those that I found today. And if you're interested in that video, I will link it at the end. But Dollar General, really fantastic and very happy with what I found. Okay, so now we have Walgreens. And the first little deal that we're going to talk about is this. Uh, these were both tagged to buy two of these, get back a $5 register reward. I was not in my regular store today, so um, I just kind of played this one by ear. And I knew that if the register reward did not print, and it did not print for this, I would have to get in touch with Catalina. I have a whole video on how to do that. I will link that at the very end if you wish to watch it. Um, but this store, it's kind of tough and uh, I knew that they would not credit me the $5 of Walgreens cash or even try and see it my way. So I will be happy to get in touch with um, customer service. So the concealer was $4.99, this was $4.29. Buying two of them, um, it was like $8 and some change. I had a $3 off for this and a $3 off for this. So the new total was $3.28. Um, and I was supposed to get back a $5 register reward, so it would make it a little money maker. I don't know if this is not print working with the register reward. I know this is, so something went kind of messy. This was the one snag in it. If it was my regular store, I could have easily received my, um, they would have just credited me the five, the missing $5, um, register reward, but here it's a hard and fast no. So Anyhow, I would not buy this in concert with this. I would try to get two of these or just like, I don't know, maybe not get this. I think that's what monkeyed it up. Again, I would just pass on this mascara because I think something's really wonky with it. But I do know that the concealer, if you buy two of these, you can get back a $5 register reward. That is the promotion. And to buy two clearance Revlon lip products, it's kicking back a $7 uh, register reward, which is a little bit more. Okay, the next little deal that we have is buy three, get one for free. These beautiful fancy downies are part of it. So I had a dollar for this and a $2 for this appealy and a dollar for this. I didn't have any coupons for these guys. So for four of them guys, it is um, $13.47 two off, a one off. I also threw in a $7 register reward from the Revlon from earlier in the week. So my new subtotal was $3.47. I used $3 in Walgreens cash, paid 47 cents plus tax. That's a little something called winning.
have these little um, knockoff Tylenols. These are the PM ones, which I like. They are um, 13 cents each or two for 24. So for five sets of it was a buck 20, which is really inexpensive. Rite Aid, um, these little uh, Charmin Megas, the, the blue one, which I really like, they are $6.99. We have a, a 24, 25 cent digital coupon. It dropped it down to $6.74. I had like $6 of bonus cash on both of my store cards. So I paid 74 cents for this guy. Not the worst little deal. And again, I will be back at Rite Aid, uh, probably Black Friday. Okay, the final store that we have is Meyer, and this is a freebie. It is this Dickinson Witch Hazel face and body 16 ounce. This specific bottle is $2.79 on sale this week. We have a three off of one M perk making it free. So it'll zero down to $2.79 making it a freebie. One per store card. And Meyer is in the Midwest only. Sorry if you don't have the store. Maybe you'll be able to find it. I think that all of the Witch Hazel... Uh, from my store is probably on some uh, container ship out of California because there was absolutely nothing here. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.